Hi there and welcome to this introduction tutorial of the Easy Post Effects plugin. In this version of the plugin we currently have the ambient occlusion effect. So if I go into built-ins, geometry, erizos, uh, we have the post effects plugin. Uh, so at the moment we have the, like I said, we have the ambient occlusion effect. Uh, ambient occlusion, as you can see in this example scene, it applies this soft shadow to the edges of all the objects in your scene and they interact with each other. So if I go ahead and I just move the text, you can see that the shading is applied to the text based on the interaction with uh, the edge of the cube, the face of the cube. Um, this effect is achieved in real time by applying it to the entire frame. Uh, so all the objects in the scene uh, will uh, get this shading effect uh, applied to it. So. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can uh, create this uh, very simple scene and how we can change the shading values and how we can control them. Uh, before I jump into the scene, uh, I just want to explain a few things about the plugin. Uh, the plugin is in the Geometry Plugins folder. Uh, we did this so that, it, uh, so that you can animate all the objects. Uh, the plugin actually should be a scene uh, plugin because it applies to the entire scene. But in VizRT, there's no option to animate uh, scene plugin parameters. So to give you the full flexibility of being able to control and animate the effects, uh, it's a geometry plugin. And let's go ahead and jump into the scene and show you how to build it. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the plugin from my scene. And now we don't see anything. So if I move my camera, um, reset it, you can see that I have a cube, a very long cube in my scene and what I've done if I turn on the uh, bounding uh, box you can see that the, well we won't be able to see it now, but the text is within inside the cube, that's how we managed to get this uh, uh, environment or this room built. So let's reset the uh, rotation and reset our camera to position it within the uh, within the cube. <clears throat> okay, so the text is within it and we won't see it for now because everything is white. But I can just add a material to the text and you can see that there it is. And now we're inside the, the cube environment. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and add the uh, ambient occlusion effect. So I need to create a new, uh, just an empty group in my scene tree and I'll drag the Easy Post Effects plugin onto this group and then I'll turn on the ambient occlusion and there we go. So <clears throat> as you can see I now see the edges, the shadow has been applied to the edges of the uh, cube so I, it becomes visible and to the text that's within it. Uh, so. Currently the uh, shadow is a bit blurred, so I want to go ahead and set up the, uh, or play with the parameters here. Uh, first I'll set the blur radius to 8, so it's quite burnt, and the sharpness I'll bring it all the way up to 100. So now we get this uh, really sharp and nice uh, shadow uh, along the edge of our objects. And we can play with the distance, so how much uh, spread of the uh, shadow. We can have a really small, but I'll leave this parameter at 50. And we can set the radius uh, of the shadow as well. And we can set the amount of detail. So let's bring the detail up quite a bit. Actually, it's too much, so I'll set that to 50. And now we can set the strength of the coarseness of the of the shadow. So if I bring this up, we get this really uh, strong shadow. Uh, but for this scene, I'm going to bring this down quite a bit. I want this nice soft shadow. So let's leave it at 50. And here we can apply the strength of the shadow in the power parameter. So I'll just leave that one at one. Okay, so I'll show you in a minute what the debug parameter does, um, but just to show you how the plugin works, if I go ahead and I'll grab another geometry, uh, I'll grab a sphere, and I'll throw it into my scene next to the text. 
And let's just go ahead and scale this down a bit. And bring it forward. So as you can see, as the, as the sphere comes closer to the text, it gets the shadow from the text applied to it, so it interacts with it. And the same with the, with the cube. If I bring it up to the ceiling, you can see that there's this shadow created between the sphere uh, and the face of the cube. Let's go ahead and add a, see how this looks with the material. So you now see that the the face of the cube gets the shadow of the cube of the sphere. So that brings us to the end of this uh, introduction tutorial of the Post Effects plugin. Uh, as you can see, using Ambient Occlusion is very simple, and you just need to play with the val values to get the look that you're after. But this provides this plugin provides a real uh, level of uh, detail to your scenes to get the realistic looks that you're after. Thank you for watching and don't forget to download the plugin from our website. Uh, you can receive a free 30-day trial um, directly from the plugin page on the site.